Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 33 of the Iron Man series. Before we jump into it, I just want to quickly let you all know there are some new links in the description to my Twitch, Twitter and public Discord if you want to come hang out, they are just below. As for Twitch though, I will begin streaming on there very soon. I'm still waiting on the internet in my area to be upgraded to the optic fiber, but I do see the people coming out here at least a couple times a week working on it, so hopefully that is just around the corner. And one last thing, my Zerka is almost ready to go, just a few more quests and I can start releasing a series on that as a nice little filler in between the Iron Man episodes. There is 84 runecrafting to start off the video, looking to hopefully pick up that 86 this episode. We were meant to get one runecrafting level an episode, but I've been slacking on that, so we'll have to make up for it this one. Currently playing two accounts, yes I am working on my Zerka again, so expect some bonus videos in the future, but Runecrafting Bloods is a really nice way to ease myself into learning how to play two accounts efficiently, and it also knocks out some much needed Runecrafting experience, so it is a win-win. I really don't shout out the CC enough, if you're bored, come hang out with me and everyone else in here, it's a bunch of awesome people. Except for Nathan, nobody likes Nathan. One day, I'll get this stale baguette. But not today. Oh, I just got an elite clue from the birdhouses. Got the elite. Um, not bad, not bad. There is 85 runecrafting, just one level away until we can boost for all the diaries that do require runecrafting. Wow, this has got to be my best birdhouse run so far. If you watch my Loot From 100 Redwood Birdhouses video, you'll remember that the average is 11.29 nests per run. I got four. <laughs> Holy shit, you know what? This run made up for the last one. How many nest is that? 21 nest, holy shit. There it is, 86 runecrafting. I'm honestly really enjoying runecrafting. I say that every time I go on one of these runecrafting benders, but bloods are just so chill, especially while playing a second account. I honestly might go ahead and knock out the 92 we need for the goal next episode, maybe? We'll see. Depends on how much other content we can fit in, but definitely by the episode after that, if not. <clears throat> um, so the plan was to leave here as soon as I hit 86 runecrafting, so I can go get some better content for you guys. But there's 87. Yeah, so I missed it, my recorder wasn't up, but there's 88 runecrafting. I don't know what's wrong with me, I I don't even have to boost for the Fally Elite anymore, I just can't stop. But I do need to leave now because I need to get some better content. Okay, this isn't what it looks like, alright? I am leaving, but I noticed I was only 6k away from a mining level, so... There is 86 mining. Now I can finally get out of here. Alright, thanks to that little runecrafting rampage, we are hitting over a 100,000 stack of blood runes. We're actually over a quarter of the way through the next 100,000, but... Damn, that looks good. Here we go, the final bonus level on this account ever. There is 99 farming. That cape is extremely nice, and I honestly didn't even know where to buy this cape until I passed it walking to this tree. So it's very convenient that we can just pop over here and pick up the farming cape. And 99 does also unlock the ability to plant unlimited spirit tree seeds. So we've got a full four here ready to go so we can unlock all the roots. Pick up two like always. Thank you very much. That is an awesome cape to knock out. Let's do that. I can't even remember the emote for this. Uh... Okay, not bad, not bad at all. That is a really awesome cape to knock out, especially on an Iron Man. The plus 5% herb yield will be fantastic. Shout out to Lousy Meme for the Dragon Impling call out. Fuck, he made some distance, didn't he? Jesus. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ah, uh, what is going on? They always give me such trouble. Fucking hell. We get... Oh, that is very nice. Thank you very much, mate. Got an easy and a hard clue from Bird Nest Run. The easy is junk and the hard is nice elks. Now that we are 88 runecrafting, we don't need to boost for the Fally Elite, so... 
Let's just quickly knock that one out. And because we are 88 now, we only need a plus three for the Karamja Elite. And that reward is really useful, especially for Slayer. Where is it? Right here. So I'm going to go knock that out right now. Hopefully the boost is super quick because it's only a plus three now. Oh, I got a minus three instead. Fuck, man. Those were my only spices. Oh, we got the plus five. <gasps> no, I forgot to... Oh, I forgot to... Oh, no. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I think I can make it back in time. Okay, uh, we're back. We're 92, so we still have over a minute. I bought another spice and stew just in case. There we go. There is the Karumja Elite completed as well. Only the Kandarin and Mauritania left. There is the Felly Shield 4. That looks awesome, and that does give us the tree patch that is immune to disease, which is extremely nice. And there is the Karumja Elite handed in. We have two lamps worth 50,000 each, and of course, they go straight to Herblore. 100,000 Herblore experience like that. We are 221k from a level. But let's test these out. Duradel. That is extremely nice. I'm happy with that. All right, that should do it. The final inventory for now. Just collected a bunch of snake grass. I'm going to start collecting all my secondaries for the herbal grind, which I'm going to do this episode, I think, just because I want to. And it should hopefully knock out a 92 stat for us so we can work towards that 92 base stat this episode. And there we go, over 2,500 snake grass right now. It's a little more than what we needed, but that's only because I don't like being completely out of a secondary at the end of the grind. That's why I collected a little bit more snake grass and the Mort My Fungus, as you can see here. What am I witnessing right now? <laughs> How long is he going to... He's been here for a little bit, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Look at the XP. It's been about 6,000 experience and he's just realized. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Got a hard casket. Oh, Guthix braces. They might be unique, actually. There is 97 defense. Only two more levels to go. One more level, and we'll finally hit that 124 combat. All right, that is the final white berry we need. I was at Kurask for white berries originally, but I was there for about 10 hours and only got about 700 or so, and I needed quite a bit more and it was very slow. So I came down to here just to pick up a couple of hundred to finish it off. Okay, I've collected all the secondaries we need for this herb lore grind. Now it's time to crush all these nests, all these chocolate bars, and these few goat horns now. I don't know how much money this is going to cost me, but we are at 14 mil. Oh, shit. 6 mil down the drain, and don't worry, I did double check. I even triple checked that I did not have my torsals on me. I, uh, I, I would hate to make that mistake. All right, so let's start this Herblore grind. We are currently 87 Herblore. I've reset the XP tracker up here so you can see it whenever I show you the next clip. And our unfinished potion tab is worth 103 mil. I don't know what level this will get me. I'm hoping at least 92. Uh, I would really like that, but we'll just have to wait and see. The first update coming in. There is 90 herb lore. We no longer need to boost for super combat potions and for raids. We now have the best overloads. We are... We've only used the Taraman, Haralander, Rana, and Snapdragons. I'm currently working on the Irits now, so we still have a lot of the big XP potions to go, so I think for sure we'll hit 92. Okay, so stepping away from Herb Lore for just a second, I did end up getting all four types of clue scrolls from the birdhouses, and I got this elite step that requires a bob shirt. And I was thinking to myself, should I do the rest of them and maybe see if I get a bob shirt from that easy? So I started on the hard, but then it required me to go to the wilderness, and I can't be bothered gearing up for it. So we're just going to turn them all in for a master. Okay, this master was a fucking pain in the ass. I got the fucking dragon's eye step twice. It's an eight step master. It was rough. What do we get though? Oh, what the fuck? 
Mummy legs. You, I've never seen anyone get a piece of the mummy set. You know what? Pain in the ass, but that was worth it. Holy shit, that's awesome. 2.3 million XP in, and we are picking up 92 herb lore. I can't believe I was worried that I might not hit this level. Have a look at this. We are only about halfway through. We still have all these big potions left to go. There is 94 herb lore. I think we have enough for just one more level. We can now make super anti-venom potions. We are still left with a thousand lantern dimes. 3,600 toad flax, because we have enough nests, almost 3,700 actually, and 2,600 torsals. So I'm hoping that carries us through for at least one more level. Unfortunately though, this episode is probably going to be like a three week wait. I slacked a lot this time around, which I do regret, but the Zerka is almost fully quested, so that series should start very soon after this episode is released, and I should be able to post regular videos in between these Iron Man progress videos, so hopefully you all don't have to wait so bloody long in between them. There is 95 Herb Lord, that is the last Herb Lord level we will achieve during this grind, but we still have over 2,000 Toad Flax potions left, so we are looking to get just under halfway to 96. Holy shit. The potions are all completed, finishing off with 5 million herb lore experience achieved in total. It's nuts to think that this was just sitting in the bank waiting there, and I was worried about hitting level 92 before I started this grind. Now this is the consumable tab. Look at this, 2.6 thousand super combats pretty much, and uh, the 2200 super stores, and just under 2000 prayer potions. That is... We are stocked up, holy shit. All right, so I wanna move on to a little bit of barrows right now. See if we can pull out the Vrax Helm, get a little lucky. I have 43 barrows teleports here. I'll probably just use all these and then call it. I get these from the Elite Clue Step to craft a barrows teleport tablet. So every time I do that, I just craft a full inventory and we've ended up with 43. And I've just remembered we can craft the Tormented Bracelet now. I have the Zenite and Onyx, so that'll help a lot. First do. It was only, we only needed a plus two, so it's not that difficult. There we go. Zenite bracelet, let's go enchant it. There we go, the tormented bracelet is achieved. First chest, I forget how many we've done. 608 we are starting with. <laughs> 13 chests in, we are picking up the Arim's staff. Oh, picking up an elite clue, 20 chests in. We've got the elite. And uh, that's a that's an average elite clue, not bad, 166k. Picking up another elite clue on 638. Got the elite. Um, yeah, not bad. Oh, it's actually better value-wise than the last one. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Another elite clue, only three more chests to go as well. Right, so this elite does require a seer cult, which I don't have yet, so we're gonna hand it in. I just need to remember I have an elite in here, okay? So don't let me forget that. All right, this is the last of the tabs, and if I don't get an item here, I'm gonna keep going till I get one, because just one item, one a room staff, is not fun, it's kind of boring, so. Oh, oh shit, okay. I guess that's our 43 Barrows runs ending on a Kirill's leather skirt. Uh, we still need the Vrax Helm, so we will be back, but that is enough for now then. Finally, moving on to some Vorkath. We have about 140 Blue Dragons on tasks, and I think we're currently 210 something KC. Three kills in, we are picking up our seventh head. This will be the only head drop I show you because they are just too common and they're kind of boring. 233, we are picking up an elite clue scroll. Extremely easy elite, what do we get? A master, okay, let's do that. Hey, we got the master casket, last one, we got a piece of the mummy set, what can we get this time? Nothing, whoa, that is, uh, that is honestly pretty crap. All right, there is kill 250. We are only about 35 kills in, but I just come to realize that I can't afford to do the whole task here. I'm gonna leave it there for now. Only, like I said, only 35 kills, it's not much. 
but this episode is super late already and if I try to do the whole task here it's just gonna delay it even more and I'm finding it extremely difficult to get sub two minute kills like I'm within the two minute to three minute range so I might wait to do Vorkath until I have at least Rigor and maybe the Dragon Hunter crossbow so yeah might have to put it to the side for now. Unfortunately, that is where I'll have to end the episode. I finished off that blue dragon task and I was hoping to get a nice little boss task for some last minute content. But as you can see in the chat box, we got Kel fights and I'll never skip a KQ task, but I can't afford to do it this episode, sadly. Now, I know this episode took a long bloody time to release and all you got was a shitload of runecrafting and herb lore. Now, I'm not a fool. I know it sucks waiting that long for these episodes and then only seeing some boring shit, but if I want to max as soon as possible, I have to get it done. To counter this though, I have mentioned my Zerka a couple of times throughout the video and that series will kick off just a couple of days after this episode is released. Now there will be two series that will come from that account, there will be the progress series, a lot like this one but being a Zerka instead of an Iron Man, and a PK series called King of the Wild, hence the name of my Zerka, KOTW. I'll go into more detail about that PK series in the Zerka's first progress video, but I think it's a pretty cool and unique idea. Sorry to ramble on for a little bit there, just wanted to get that information out, but as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.